Hi, this is Shelly Kraft, and we're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Biotech Healthcare Life Sciences Week 2013, right here in San Francisco. With me is Dr. Peter Zehos of DiscoGen, a private company. Peter, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelly. A pleasure to be here. It's good to have you. Let's get right into dance around a little bit, but tell us about Discogen. Absolutely. So Discogen is an early stage company that develops and commercializes treatments for disc disease, particularly discogenic back pain, which is the largest uh, population of back pain uh, in the U.S. and worldwide. I must have 10 friends. Mm. I could, I could, if you have something for them, we're going to stop the interview and I'm going to call them right now. Mm -hmm. That's how serious it is. We're all going to get it at one point or another. It's at least 80% of the population gets it at some time in their lives. I think it's, it's inevitable. Okay, yeah. tell me more. Tell sure. me what you do exactly to help them. Well, I'm a neurosurgeon, so I take care of patients with spine disease, as most neurosurgeons do. And essentially every week, I will have this kind of a conversation. A patient will come into my office. They'll have pain for three months or more. They'll have had physical therapy and not have relief. I'll put up their MRI, and even with the untrained eye, they'll hone in on their disc. And often, discs, as they degenerate, they look odd, they look different. And they can point to that and go, what is that? And I'll tell them, that's your disc. It's a degenerated disc. And the, answer, and the question they have for me is, what can I do about it? And I don't know if they meant, what can I do about it or what they can do about it, but I had no answer for them. Discogen is my attempt to answer that question. Well, let me ask you a question. I mean, surgery is an option. Um, shots That's right. of painkiller of one form or another are an option. Right. I mean, going to a uh, chiropractor, <laughs> I've all, heard, I, you know, bone all, crushers, whatever. It's you know? all useful, but let's say, you know, 20% of the people that come into any doctor's office for spine disease are surgical. That leaves 80% that are not. And as you said, physical therapy, pain shots, chiropractor, that's about all we have for them. Uh, but what we've not been able to do until now is to get smart about the biology of disc degeneration, to be able to target those processes, uh. to be able to help to grow new disc or to be able mm. to regenerate a repair disc. And there are a number of companies that are looking at injectable therapies. We have an interest in that as well. We, part of our patent portfolio is with injectables, hydrogel, stem cells and all that. But what I'm presenting this week is a totally non-invasive way of doing it using a very specific type of ultrasound. Uh, and what we found is that the ultrasound can help grow all the elements of the disc, can help grow the what we call the nucleus, which is the center of the disc, or can help the annulus, which is the outside of the disc, can help grow those cell components. Uh, and that, we think, is a game changer here. Wow. Let's give out the website, because people like to run and go look while they're watching this. So. My pleasure. So it's discogen.net, D-I-S-C-O-G-E-N.net. So how soon will this be on the market? So what we're here you know, we're here to find funding, you know, and we've talked to a number of tr strategic partners and investment partners, and we've got essentially a 36-month time frame to market for the ultrasound. So we, we have plans, we have collaborations for validating it in some preclinical studies. We have some device development to do, but actually very limited because we can use much of existing technology. Uh, the proprietary part is the software, the frequencies, the, the way we design the transducer to it so it fits on the body well. Uh, and then to be able to do some pilot clinical studies, which takes the most money. Uh, and well, we let have me stop you. Let me yeah. tell you, yeah. there's a lot of investment bankers that are walking around with bad backs. Those, are, those would be good people to talk about. <laughs> and I think that's a great, frankly, it's a great strategy. It, it's logical, you know, that, that if you find people who have a personal interest in the problem, you know, I think they're more receptive. You know, the issue is it's, it's early stage, so they have to kind of buy into that. But I will tell you that this approach, from a regulatory point of view, is so much more efficient. This is a device pathway, as opposed to pretty much every other therapy out there that's going to be a biologic pathway or a drug pathway, a much longer time frame. All of them, you know, have real potential, but I think we can get there first. So, Peter. Yes. How long does it take from the time that it's diagnosed to the time that the patient actually feels relieved 
let's just say, relieved. Mm -hmm. So again, we haven't done the human studies, so this is all kind of abstracting from, from the preclinical work. A little guesswork a little as well. Guesswork. But what we found in a number of studies is that five treatments, five, five, five treatments uh, daily, 20 minutes a day, had the biological effect. What we believe will ultimately happen is that you know this will be less than the number of sessions you have for physical therapy or for you know, and certainly, you know, in terms of epidurals, it's not invasive, and that you have some upfront treatments and then some maintenance treatments along the way. But the fact that it's not invasive, I mean, people are going to be more agreeable to it. I mean, if I give you the option of I'm mean, going to put a needle in your disc, which we do, but it's not fun versus I can do something non-invasively and maybe get similar results. I think most people would take the non-invasive you know, uh, strategy. So that's sort of where we, where we think it'll go, but we're gonna, have, we're, gonna, we're gonna validate that. So this is cool. Let's get the website out there one more time. Absolutely, so it's www.discogen.net. So you will be able with a bad back and using this product one day to go to a discotheque. That's where the name comes from, That's I'm it. sure. That is where we're, that is the whole mission of this company. <laughs> you, you hit it on the head. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Shelly Craft. This is SNN Live. We're at Biotech Healthcare Life Sciences Week 2013 here in San Francisco. Dr. Peter Zeho's DiscoGen, a private company. Go to the website, discogen.net. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure.